The most popular CPU in modern computing can do 12.4 billion calculations per second, and its speeds are only set to increase. This video aims to discuss if mathematics and logic are a key part in the history of computing. Firstly, computing uses technology to perform routine calculations automatically. Mathematics uses logical reasoning, and logic is the study of correct reasoning. George Poole strived to make logic the language of mathematics by proving relationships between set union and set intersection. However, it can be argued that he was forcing such ideas, as finding the set operation for division is impossible. Logic is also stated as a calculus of computer science, suggesting it is the link between mathematics and computing, rather than solely belonging to one subcategory. It can be argued that computing has a tripartite nature made up of mathematics and technology. The third part, first order logic, which is like programming, links the other parts together. For example, mathematics and technology came together in the von Neumann and ENIAC group collaboration to achieve a high-speed logic machine. However, the ENIAC was prone to errors, so von Neumann produced a draft report for the EDVAC, which had a high-speed stored program concept, and he emphasized its importance suggesting that it is a key factor for computing as it increased speed and efficiency. Although the stored program concept is important, achieving it required a suitably placed logic instruction in the circuit, meaning mathematics and logic are still involved. It can be argued that the change from analog to digital was a key factor, as it allowed for higher levels of automation as less human interaction was involved, thus making it faster. Alan Turing described the stored program principles of a modern computer as one with limitless memory and a scanner that moves through memory, symbol by symbol and reading what it finds. In contrast, digital computers lost mathematical accuracy as they were in base 2, this defeats the purpose of computers to use as tools for automating mathematics. Early digital computers had minimal increase in speeds, as they were electromechanical. Arguably, the switch from electromechanical to electronic could be a key factor, as it was significant in high speeds, as the only thing that moved was the electrons in the vacuum tubes. Alan Turing, the father of computing, said that speed and memory was a key for the future, and the electronic digital computer allowed this. However, the first electronic computer focused more on Boolean logic rather than electronics. In conclusion, I believe that mathematics and logic are a key factor in the history of computing, as they allowed for innovation from the abacus to the computers today, whereas all the technological advancements were only needed to overcome the limitations in speed and memory at the time. Thank you for listening.